Now that we've got a function created, in our case, hello func or whatever you've called yours, it's now time to use it. I want to be able to call this function and have it perform whatever it does. In this case, print out to the screen, hello world. So I've got the definition of my function, got a name, and I've told it what to do. Now to make a call to it, you simply call it by its name, just like your mom would do, right? And you got to call it by its full name like it's in trouble. So I'll say, hello, underscore func. I'm going to open and close the parentheses. That's the execute command for this function. Give it its name and then open and close the parentheses. If you don't open and close the parentheses, all you're doing is saying, hey, here's the function. That's it. You're not telling it to execute. Take a look. If I do a print here, print, open parentheses, hello underscore func, close parentheses, let's see what happens here. So I've saved that. I'm going to go ahead and F5 to execute. All right, so I've now made a call to function called hello func, and it's stored at some spot in memory. Okay. So all I've did is just make a reference to that function. I haven't actually executed it. Now let's take that a step further, and let's actually execute it. So I'll say hello underscore func, open close parentheses. Now I'm going to go ahead and save. And I'll F5 again, and there it is. So first off, we're just making a reference to it. It's being stored in memory. And now it's actually executing the function, executing the command called hello func, which prints out hello world to the screen. So it's that simple. You create your functions, you're packaging up all this goodness, right? Whatever, it's a single line of text or multiple lines of, of code, whatever it is, you're packaging it up into one function name that you can call to at any point within your code. The idea, streamline your coding. Create functions, then make function calls to get it to do all that work for you. Don't reinvent the wheel every time you need it, right? Create it once and reuse it. That's the name of the game when it comes to functions. So try this out. You've already created a function. Now it's super easy to make a call to the function that you created.